Hi everyone. So today we are at Watrai Myth. And this is the entrance of Watrai Myth. And that is the main temple. So one of the unique features of this temple is that it houses the world's largest solid Buddha statue. So get into that one we need to t- take the ticket and that's our ticket counter so for each person it's 100 baht so let's take a ticket first so about this temple there is a very interesting story that this statue was uh, the golden statue was built and designed in and around 13th or 14th century and that time the dynasty was uh, a sugontai dynasty so in that dynasty the kingdom was so wealth so all the statues were made from gold so that they to signifies the kingdom's wealth but what even more astonishing is the story of how this precious stone sorry the statue was almost uh, forgotten for centuries so here is that story in between 15 and 18th century there were several wars uh, wages between the siamese and the burmese so at that time siamese be siam and siamese is uh, the people who lived in thailand and thais so siam is thailand's oldest name and siam is is what they have called the people who live in that place so the people were so afraid that uh, the invaders will take the statue which is in gold and destroy it or melt it down well these are all uh, marbles i think that's the biggest uh, bell you can see that entrance and behind that is where the golden statue is there wow it's so stunning the architecture is uh, very similar to
So to get to this temple, uh, the best way is through MRT, yeah. So you can get off the Huan Lambon station exit 1, which took you out opposite the rail station and a junction. And from there to the temple is very near. And one thing I noticed is, this compound have several temples, small and big and all these things. And there is a learning center also in this compound and this is the learning center. center. Uh, I think it is written in uh, Chinese so I couldn't able to read it properly but I believe this is some kind of a school. Thailand, uh, as you know, that temples are called as uh, wats, and uh, monastic life is highly respected in Thailand. Uh, you can say that some of the boys often become monks for a short period as a rite of passage. I've seen this influence of Buddhism is evident in this landscape. Well, this uh, temple and the compound, it gives you a very mesmerizing effect. And that's a lot of flowers. I don't know what is those things, but they are well treated and well kept. And that is a small shrine. I believe that is Buddha's shrine. And this is, I have no idea what is this, but that's So that's all friends, uh, that's our, a short video about what I make, but I would like to make a better and detailed video in the next time. Thank you for watching.